than process flow steps like uh, what could be the process flow like after uh, when we receive the, the uh, when customer walk in and uh, make an inquiry then we uh, create the inquiry uh, mm. and uh, okay so here uh, no here what process you are explaining for sd order to cash order to cash okay what type of order to cash Mm. Uh, could you share could you share your bpml what all the process you have okay time and process then Actually, I I didn't get over the what to. So what all the what to see process? What all the what to see process are there? Uh, what to see all process? Credit memo, debit memo, mm -hmm. uh, third party consignment, make to order, make to stock. Okay. So, but you are explaining like a what to see process. You see, this is not the you know. You should specific process you have to explain, it's not a O to C process. You know, it's a generic. We are no need to explain. So you have to go with the unique process. Like we have a let's say rush order or cash sales or consignment sales. So like that, you know, you have to identify the process. Maybe 20 to 20 process you have to identify in SD. So based yeah. on that, the every you know process you have to be explained. So order to cash. No, we should not explain like order to cash. So that is a generic name, right? So generic process. So you have to explain about the specific process. Let's say, you know, um, we can say the stock material sales or, you know, so what, what kind of stock materials they have, they are selling. So like that, you have to identify the process first. Okay. So you have to list out <clears throat> what all the process in SD. So, you know, as a O2C point of view, so just add <coughs> those process first in your BPML. Okay. And then oh. every process you have to explain like a flow diagram, you know, like a, <coughs> let's say there is a, a third party sales. That is one of the O2C process. So the complete end to end cycle you have to explain for every uh, business process. Okay. So don't explain O2C process as a generic process. So you have to list out first what all the O2C order to cash process so first you update your bpml all the o2c process then you explain every process with the process steps with a business flow diagram like that okay i will do it by tomorrow yeah, yeah. okay so just explain your bvp now uh, just created o2c not created any process okay so but make it so just to make it specific process huh? don't put it the heading like a o2c Oh, okay. Actually, I was confused uh, uh, which process to be included. No, you just add yeah. all the process, whatever process you comfortable, you just add it all the process in your BPML, then you prepare the flow diagram as a BVP, you can prepare it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think uh, just uh, we have to mention the what are the processes uh, in order to cash. Uh, yes, yes. So you add it, yeah, you add in your BPML. So whatever already okay. you have, you add any other additional process you include in your BPML first. So then mm -hmm. you can able to explain. Okay, now you proceed now. Mm. Okay, during the this is the process for order to cash and for and first uh, it's creating the customer's inquiry. Uh, and in this when customer sends inquiry with PCR with material specifications, the inquiry is entering the system. And tomorrow, then we create inquiry with material number and for 
uh, or related information. Uh, in that we had a quantity for each item and expected date of response, depending on the then mat material setup and costing. The, and in this process, we, have, we carried out a material creation that, that is we are in HD, we have the finished good and trading goods. Uh, then build, uh, for material creation, we can uh, uh, build up material and routing. In, in quotation, once the final quotation is available, a quotation will be created in the system and the quotation will be present to the customer with a legal binding. Uh, if it's <coughs> satisfactory with its uh, customer, so what are the prices of uh, product on quantity? Uh, <coughs> then we will we'll go for uh, sales order creation. For sales order creation, we have uh, to maintain, uh, uh, we have to enter the um, uh, the, the sales area data is mandatory, like the sales organization, distribution channel, and division. Customer. <coughs> mm. Customer number validity, customer validity dates, material number, quantity. These are the mandatory the fields while creating the sales order. Mm. Price for each and pricing. Pricing procedure yeah, should be maintained for uh, these are the fields for estimate which estimate pricing in this pricing procedure the cost, export price, local transactions, mm, then delivery creation the delivery of the product will be through the project system then delivery document can be print, printed in the delivery notes and after creation of delivery uh, we with the reference to delivery number will process for billing the item in the billing shall be billed after after completing the contract obligations and confirmation of the relevant milestone in project system uh, and uh, at the time of uh, billing accounting document will generate that is customer account debit to revenue account credit and after creation of this billing document revenue account revenue recognition the revenue upon posting shall shown uh, by by the this is done by the FI consultant. This much only I have done, uh, not whole process. Okay, now if you go to your business flow diagram. Okay, so could you explain uh, the process steps here? Okay. Mm. When uh, uh, we create a sales order uh, with the uh, reference to inquiry, uh, that is, uh, these are the pre sales activities uh, like inquiry and quotations. Uh, when a customer make an inquiry with, uh, with reference to that inquiry, we create a quotation. Uh, here it is a pre seller uh, and uh, with reference to this quotation document, sales administration will create a sales order in the system. And uh, if a customer is, uh, 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 we here, uh, here 
we check that uh, if the customer is liable for credit and if he, he is liable for credit customer uh, customer order will be confirmed and uh, uh, where, here warehouse clerk uh, will be uh, responsible for picking packing and post good of the material and do the delivery after the delivery it will be sent for uh, uh, sales billing and uh, this billing document is, will be sent for end customer okay what will happen we will do the post post goods issue uh here uh, account dot uh, accounting the uh, 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 at the time of post good issue uh, the document will generate uh, the cost of goods sold account debit to inventory account credit okay so in idea what is the moment type for post mean delivery what is the moment type uh, for post good issue the moment type is 601 and uh, for a uh, uh, reverse of post good issue for that is pcr post good receipt that the moment type is 602 uh, okay who will raise the invoice uh, who will raise the invoice uh, uh, we be a sales team we will raise the billing invoice to the customer mm -hmm. so what is the accounting impact accounting is a customer account customer account debit to revenue account credit okay okay after billing could you explain the process after billing uh, that uh, document will be uh, sent to accounting here account receivables okay accounting accounting document will generate okay could you show me the reporting requirements what are the reports mm, that i have not prepared. Okay, so you just make it uh, finally uh, the end of the process. So let's say inquiry, what are the different type of inquiry reports, serial number, a report description, and what is the T code and what is the role name. Okay, so this inquiry, what is the role name and the sales order reports, what is the role name. Okay, so those mm -hmm. uh, report requirements have to be included. Okay, and the integration oh. points and integration points also you need to be included okay yeah so what are the integrations could you explain for the complete sales order total invoice so what are the reportings uh, we have integration with the mm for material master and uh, for billing we have uh, integration with the fi mm -hmm. so just specify the integration points you know step number one so material master there is a valuation class you know has to be maintained mm -hmm. so step number two so there is a OBOIC, there is a, uh, you know, OBOIC setup has to be maintained for uh, post goods issue. The moment type is 601 and the accounting key. What is the accounting key they are using in the integration of post goods issue, right? You told there is a COGS account, right? And there is a yeah. stock account, right? So what is the accounting key? Okay. So mm -hmm. you should specify the accounting key. So if you don't know, so just uh, because so all the inventory related you know uh, transaction we need to specify the accounting key also so cogs so then we have the stock account right so you have to specify bsx so then you have to specify you know uh, vax or vay so you have to specify the cogs account also and uh, yeah so make sure all the accounting entry you have the accounting keys okay okay and reporting requirements you have to edit the integration points also so what all the steps are there you know uh, you specify integration points maybe if you are putting in the table call of format it is good serial number and integration process and you know the steps you can mention okay step number one two three four and the mm integrations and the fi integrations 
okay so even sd point of view what are the you know uh, uh, you know basic uh, configuration of integration so just include those in as a integration so once you make it so the rest of the process you can able to you have the template the same template you can use it for the rest of the o2c process good okay okay so the so flow diagram is good actually so it's the standard sap best practices i think so it uh, looks good so everyone you know i think whoever is presented so please follow the standard you know the business flow diagram so whatever i am talking about the role that is the left side so we can see there is a event there is a you can see there is a you know customer then sales administration warehouse clerk so these are all the role so your flow diagram always should be role specific so you should not write any flow diagram without role so nobody will accept okay so please make sure all your flow diagram you should follow the same template with the role okay yeah okay thank you okay thank you